school, we will get started. Uh, we are having a teacher appreciation night here at the Sato Stadium. Uh, the first teacher was honored Alan by Chad Tanella Silver and Mary Viznaskis. The second teacher is Adam Pinella. I apologize for mispronouncing names. Uh, presented by Jason Dodd. All these players are seniors. Um, Mike Cahill, invited by Peter Andromulus, number 70. Maria Annunziato, invited by Jaden Hinton and Henry Marioni. As you see, the teachers are wearing the players' white jerseys. They were given to the teachers, I believe, this morning in school. Matt Turgeon, invited by Steve De La Rosa. Matt Rodney Schiefler, invited by Bronson Burnham, number one. Jeff Benson, invited by John Carey. Jeff Benson, invited by number 57, Captain John Carey. I believe Jeff Benson is the director of the band, which, believe it or not, John Kerry is involved Tom in. Baldino, invited by Avery Anderson. Tom Baldino is a shop teacher, invited by Avery Anderson, number 50. Sarkan Sarkaran, invited by John uh, Jordan Young, number 32. Kara Williams, invited by Wayne Casey, Jack Morley, and Nick Farini. It was tough for her to wear three shirts in school today, but apparently she kept changing the uniforms that uh, the kids had given her. Tara Bailey, invited by Jaden Graham. John Johannesson. John Johannesson, invited by Luis Fernandez. Last, Michelle Matrinos, invited by Jake Mantos, number 60. It's a new tradition, Coach 
DeWitt is starting here at Alvarim to get the community and the teachers involved in Appreciation Week for the teachers. For we'll be back momentarily with the, about 10 minutes of the kickoff. Oliver Ames High School Sports home game coverage is underwritten in part by Bank of Easton, Premier Properties, Law Office of Sutton and Sutton, Easton Historical Society and Museum. Oliver Ames Football is also underwritten by Easton Country Club. ECAT would like to thank all sponsors for making coverage of all this year's home games possible. <laughs>
Welcome to all of Rams High School. The Tigers will host the Quincy pre uh, it's pre uh, Presidents, I believe. I was going to say Presidents. Uh, both teams start out 1-0. Uh, Quincy, I believe, played Archbishop of Williams last week and won 21 to nothing. Uh, Oliver Ames played... Sorry, uh, Oliver Ames played... Who did we play last week? Um, Brookline. We won uh, 41 to 12. Momentarily, the coin toss here. Uh, the captains for all range are number tw 6, Chad Silva. Number 12, Wayne Casey. Number 55, Chris Young. 57, John Carey. And 65, Jaden Hinton. For Quincy. Let me see if I can find theirs. Number 76, Luke Murphy. Number 4, Reuben Charles. Number two, Stephen Gallant, and number one, Jace Ham. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Scotto Stadium here at Hall Rings High School. We are at the Scotto Stadium, home of the Tigers. Between the Quincy Presidents and the Tigers of Hall Rings High School. Well, you're not late yet, Coach. We were, uh, we waited for you. What did you say? You waited to get in again? You, you waited again to get in? Yeah, I've been talking, Coach. You All right. With me now is Jeff Howard. Partner, I'm here. My partner in crime. Uh, Welcome, everybody. Nice Friday night. You should be here at the game, not listening to us. Well, we do have some folks down in Florida watching us, so, be, you know. Fantastic. So we're going to make your, your, your eardrums bleed for the next couple of hours, and yep. uh, hopefully you enjoy the game, and we have similar results to last week. Hopefully for us, not, not, not Quincy. So it looks like Quincy would receive... The Tigers will defend the north end zone. Coach, did you say you waited in line again to get in? I'm a man of the people, Wayne. <laughs> you know, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to big time them and <laughs> cut the line like some people would. Hey, would. Maybe, you, you know, you, Friday nights they were pretty, pretty, pretty busy now. You got to get actually, early. I actually had to sign an autograph getting in. Oh, okay. They were looking for you too, but man. I said he's busy. I've been here all. I've been here since uh, three o'clock, so they could have found me. <laughs> you need to stand out more. <laughs> so we're uh, going to pause for a moment for the national anthem. Ask that any active military members, veterans, and first responders please stand at this time to be recognized. We thank you for your service to our country and to our local communities. At this time, we ask that those who are able to, please stand for the playing of the national anthem. <laughs>
we're back. So how was your week, Coach? My week was uh, – it felt like it took forever to get back to Friday Night Football. That's what I was waiting for. And uh, now here we are. Well, let's begin by uh, welcoming everybody to ECAT presentation of All Rams Athletics. Today, the Tigers host the Quincy Presidents uh, at Moscato Stadium. My name is Wayne Casey alongside Jeff Howard. Hello. We've been doing this for a few years now, Coach. It gets, gets better every year, I think. I think we've got a fan club. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> well... I haven't seen any flyers or any posters yet, but, uh, you know, I heard once your name gets written on the uh, outhouse walls, it's... <laughs> that's, a, that's a good sign. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> well, we're about to kick off. Uh, kicking duties today, I believe, is number five, Nick Ferrini for the Tigers. Let's go, Let's go, Tigers! The question I have for the day is, Chris Young going to play? Chris Young is playing. That's He's starting on uh, both sides of the line, I was told. That's a, that's a very good sign. And, you know, without playing last week, we had Jake Mantos step up both sides of the ball and play tremendous. Yeah, Jake Mantos was up for player of the week. I don't know if you guys out there voted. but uh, He did fall shy. I did vote. I voted he twice. He had a great game. And um, hopefully he carries carries that on yep. for, the, for this game and for future games. There's no wind at the moment, so this kick should be true. And here we go. It's a low kick. It's going to bounce right picked up at the 15-yard line. Bunches it outside. Well, we've got a hold on the side. There's got to be a hold. Yeah, there's a the laundry. Tackle was made by number five, Nick Ferrini, forced out, forced him out of bounds. There was a hold on the outside end for the target. Like, not sure who the number Presence. was for the the president that held the outside contained man. 44, it looked like uh, Aiden, Aiden Lee on the hold. So that's going to be a 10 yards from the spot of the foul. So it looks like the president will start on their own 37 or 38 yard line. Well, coach, last Friday we saw our team pretty stout on their defensive line. Uh, yep. Do you remember anything about Quincy? And what, what what did they bring to the table? Are they going to run the ball down our throats? Or? They ran the ball pretty well against us last, last year. Um, we were in the game till late. Um, I know we lost. I believe it was a late pick six. Late, late on a, pick six, on a, but I think, on a, yeah, on a, drive. On, a, on a drive that we were driving to win. Um, we got number 55, Chris Young at right end. Lewis Fernandez, number 63. 65. Jaden Hinton, and I believe Donovan is playing left end, number 52. Quincy Quinton a shotgun and a handoff and stuffed by the Tigers. Number 32, Jordan Young at the bottom of the pile, along with Luis Fernandez and Jack Perrin, number six, our cornerback. I think that's Jake Mantos on the left end. Is that Jake Mantos? With Chris 60? Young on the okay. right end. Uh, linebackers, we have number six, Chad Silva, 25, Jack Morley, 32, Jordan Young. Our safeties are number 21, uh, Thomas Whiteside, number five, Nick Farini. Number 10 is uh, Harold Smith, and number six is Jack Perrin, our cornerbacks. Presents come out in trips, a tight bunch of trips on the right. And uh, drop back the pass. And the pass is tipped. Oh, it is caught. Defender was falling down. Number one, J.C. Uh, Ham. Nice concentration on that. Before I forget, Coach, I want to uh, – Wayne got hurt last year in the, this game and ended up breaking his neck. And I wanted to give a shout out to the two guys that were doing the commentary for their cable television. And they said some very kind words. And me being the father of Wayne, I, I did watch it and I was very impressed. And I don't know if they're watching. I tried to reach out to find out who they were and I couldn't, couldn't get that information. But if they're listening, I hope they uh, know that I appreciate it. And he is back, he is fine, and he's good to go. That carry was by number two, Stephen Gallant, for a big gain on the, off the right side. Bounced off a couple of couple of potential tacklers. He got about 15 yards on the carry on a first down carry. Um, that's 
uncharacteristic this early in the season for the uh, yeah. Tigers to give that up. But uh, Looks like they're on the 28-yard line, Coach. 27. 28, they take that same outside route yep. again. And stuffed by the Tigers this time. Mentos is in there. I know Chad Silver was in there as well. No gain on the play. It'll be second down and 10 from the 28. President's going twins to the left and twins to the right with a shotgun formation. Quarterback pass, gets number, catches. And he drops it. There is a flag on the play. It was a completion down by contact at the 10 the yard line or so. We had a legal man downfield on the President's. I believe the quarterback is number three, Andrew. Novak. Fortunately for uh, OA, yep, got a penalty. Penalties are, are always great when they're uh, for the other team. Tigers have to figure out what's going on. They come out of the locker room a little flat. Yep. And everything Quincy's throwing at him, it seems to be successful so far. But second and 15. Second and 15, correct. Ball on the 34-yard line of the Tigers. Shotgun formation again. Number one in motion. The handoff is to the running back. It's strung up by the Tigers. And he got around end. I don't know how. He's still on his feet. <laughs> Tackle was made by number five, Nick Farine, number 21, Thomas Whiteside. Gain of 30, almost 30 yards Ball on the play, 30, coach. Yeah. To 29. The ball's on the four yard line. Will be first and goal for the Presidents. That was an impressive run. Uh, I thought he was going to go out of bounds about three times. Yeah. Just turned it upfield. Tight, a little tightrope on the sidelines. And uh, he never gave up. A lot of running backs yep. give up on that play, and they run out of bounds. And he just – he said, hey, hey you got to come out and tackle me. Shotgun formation again. Drops back the pass. The rush is on. And he lets the ball go. That's intentional. Ground yeah, it's out of the pocket, uh, though, Coach. Okay, you're right. Unfortunately – Tigers had a heavy rush. See Jordan Young, number 32 in there. I believe 65, Jaden Hinton was in there as well. I think second down and four from the four-yard line. You know, my pet peeve, Coach, is you open up the playbook a little bit too much. Yep. And uh, I would have gave it right back to number nine. See what he could do. You at least got your... Yep, I get the pistol formation. You would have had the same result regardless, <laughs> but. Got twins to the right, twins to the left, motion left, hand up up the middle. And he's in the there end zone go. for a touchdown. Backed his way into the end zone. Touchdown is by Rodriguez, Gabriel Rodriguez. Hard running junior right there. He had a. Yeah. Uh, Two carries on the play, one for 30 yards and one for the the remaining four yards to get him in the end zone. Yep. On the kicking dude is number 31, Alina Middleton. Kick is up and it is good. Quincy takes a 7-0 lead with 8.29 left to go in the first. Coach DeWitt can't be happy about that first possession for uh, Quincy, Coach. No. Nope. Everything uh, Quincy dialed up looked like it worked. Um, 
Yeah, like you said, we had some poor tackling on a couple plays, and we strung them out on the sideline in the long run. We couldn't get them out of bounds. We also missed the sack there at the right yep. before the touchdown. So it looks like we're uh, going to have to figure some stuff out on defense, but it's part of the game. It is. They came, they came to play. We uh, back deep for the Tigers. We got number 10, Harold Smith, and number 21, Thomas Whiteside. Both sophomores for the Tigers. Kicking duties for the Presidents is, looks like number 22, Eric. Lamano. 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 I'm, as you know me, Coach, I'm terrible at names. A little squib kick to the pick up back. Up, pick it up, pick it up. Oh, you got to be kidding me. And we did not pick it up, Coach. I'm not sure who that was for the Tigers. Looks like it was kicked to the up back, number 23, Robbie Dobbin. It was a kind of a squib kick. Couldn't handle it cleanly, and the presidents recover on the 20 yard line, uh, excuse me, the 30 yard line. Well, well, coach, it's still in the first quarter. It is. We need to stop here. We can't let the momentum be an avalanche. You know, was, but Quincy's thinking they're going to strike right now again for a deep pass, I'm thinking. And it's thrown deep, and it is caught for That's a touchdown. Good. Touchdown catch by number one, Jace Ham. Not the stat the Tigers are looking for, Coach. Definitely not. Um, it's kind of like the old NFL when you're watching and there's yep. a turnover and they, goes, they look for a touchdown immediately, and that's what happened. Co uh, the quarterback looked pretty good out there. Kind of, he must have been watching uh, football last night. Yeah. Looked like the play broke down a little bit, and he scrambled out to his right. Yep. Hit his receiver in stride. Once again, I thought we could have, you know, had a chance to get him in the, back, the quarterback in the backfield. But to no avail. One thing I do notice about the kicking team, we do have a lot of underclassmen on the return team. Well, two sophomores back deep. We got uh, Henry Marioni in number 23, Dobbin, in the second defense line. And we have uh, number 11, Case Rivera, who's a junior. I can't quite see who's on the other side of the second line here. Kick a little deeper, it goes to Whiteside, who can run the ball. He is tackled at the 35, 30 yard line. The Tigers will take over first and 10. That was Aiden Lee for uh, Quincy. On the tackle. What a great open field tackle. Um, didn't really wrap him up, but he did the job and got him down. Yep. That's all you ask for your uh, front man on your kickoff team. First man making contact and tackling him. It's not going to go far. Well, Coach, we're on offense now. What do you think? I'm thinking we're going to grind, grind it on the ground for at least a good showing here on this drive. Got Silver behind Casey in the backfield. Flanked by uh, Jordan Young. The handoff is to Silva up the left side. Gain of about five on the play for the Tigers. Our offensive line, we uh, have number 65, Jaden Hinton. Number 63, Luis Fernandez. Uh, number 55, Chris Young. Our center is John Carey, number 57. And our other guard, I believe, is, is that Mantos again? We got Morley flanked to the right. Bronson Burnham, number one, spread, spread out wide. Hand off is to Silva, who makes a cut to the outside. Great blocking downfield by number 
60, Jake Mantos and 32, Jordan Young. Jack Mulio also downfield making some blocks. Nice 10 yard gain right yeah. there. Yep. Be first and 10 for the Tigers on the 45 yard line. So we got all seniors on the field tonight, coach, to start. Case in the center. Hand off is to Jordan Young up the middle. Gain about five on the play. We'll call it four, give us a second down and six. Ball just shy of midfield. Nick Farini in the backfield. Thomas Whiteside on the field as well, number 21. We got trips to the right. Coach called a timeout. Well, this offense possession started just like last week's possessions. Um, heavy with Chad, conservative, yep. which is not a bad thing when you got Chad running the ball. Um, it's, we do have to put a score on this board because uh, Quincy hasn't been stopped yep. at all. It is early, but we don't want to give them let them think they can walk it down the field on us consecutive, consecutive down uh, tries. So now we got trips to the left. Maybe we might see a little trickery. Casey in the center, Brunton Burnham is flip wide to the right. Safety is cheating to the right. Handoff is up to gut to Chad Silva. Put his head down. And he's still going out over the 45 yard line to the 43 of the Presidents. Nice run by Chad. Good eight yards. Yeah, coach, they spread him out. I think Quincy thought yep. they might have passed. We're going to make a pass. And uh, good misdirection uh, by Chad up the middle. A little confusion who's in, who's out here. Farini checks in for. Uh, for well, Farini was for in. Bra for Bronson, Bronson Burnham. Yeah. Jordan Young went in the game and Farini started coming out. Casey the shotgun here. Handoff is to. Oh! He had a hole there too. He was trying to put his foot down and cut behind Mantos, who was making a nice block. Loss of one on the play for Jordan Young. Second 11 for the Tigers. I don't know if this field was, uh, the grass was cut a little shorter on this field. It might have, <laughs> might not have lost it. an edge. Yeah, I don't know if the guy groomed the field, or groomed it right. Yeah, we have to get those guys, uh, get those guys on the phone. Morley in motion, the handoff is to Morley. Puts his foot down, gets up. Almost to the 40 yard line of the Presidents. We'll call it the 41. Gain of three on the play. Brings up a third down and we'll call it eight. Burnham checks back in for Whiteside. Casey in shotgun, flanked by Silver on his left. Jordan Young on his right. Handoff is to Chad Silva. Gets out. Still on his feet, still pumping, still moving, still. He is down. Fumble. I believe the Tigers recovered it. We do have laundry on the field.
That was a great run by Chad. It was, Coach. Ran for 20 yards with, I'd say, the last 18 of them. He had somebody on his back. Yep. But there is a hold, and that's going to put us in a uh, tough predicament early in the season. So we're going back from the spot of the infraction. It'll bring up, say, third down 18. and about 18. Which tells me as a lineman that was holding. Coach, do you have a third and 18 play? Uh, I do not, Coach, but uh, we do have a third and 10 play. All right. If well. we can get 10, maybe we can pick up eight later on. I agree. Looks like they're strong, right? Casey is dropping back to pass. Casey lets it go deep. He's throwing the ball to number five. Oh, off the hands of Nick Farini. Nick was down at the 14-yard line. Ball hung up there a little bit. He may have missed time this jump a little bit. Yep. But it's always tough with the wind and the lights. And we have that, that microbursting in this week, Coach? Well, you're not used to catching under the lights. Yeah. So that's, they, yeah, they do not practice so they, at nighttime, so there's a little bit of adjustment. Back doing the kicking duties is, I can't see the number there, Coach. Is that 55, Chris Young? 54. 54? Yeah, it looks a little too. Here's ben Feeney. Kick is a short one. Looks like he's a sophomore. Yes. Ball goes out of bounds at the four, about the 40 yard line, maybe the 37, 38. Coach, we got 3.15 left in this quarter. Um, we have to get a stop here. We haven't been able to stop the Presidents yet. Nope. Howard checks in at right end for Chris Young. They got to get stout up front, put a little pressure on these guys. Yep. And the, se the secondary also uh, has to step up and uh, get some stops here. Handoff is up the middle to number... Nine, driven out of bounds at the 45 yard line. Number nine is Rodriguez. Let me know when you're at a good place, I'll change it. I'll be a second down and three for the presidents. Looks like we have some movement. Interior line, I believe. Walk off five, we'll call it second down eight. Second and eight is a good spot to be in for the defense right now. They, they really need to stop. They need to force a third and long. Yep. Can't give up too much on this play. Presidents come out twins right and left. Number one in motion. They hand off at number nine. Oh, strung out. He's almost like our Chad. He warns off defenders and turns up field and always gets positive yards. That is Gabriel, I believe, uh, Rodriguez, number nine on the carry. Picks up the five back that they lost. So we'll give third down in two. Third down in two for Casey. Jet sweep to the yes, left. Yep. Nice tackle by Farini, who comes up from the safety position. It is good enough for a first down, gain of four on the play. 
Oh, he placed it in midfield for the Presidents. That was Ham on the carry. In of his number nine, Rodriguez around the right side. Stuck by number 32, Jordan Young. And number six, Chad Silva. Bring up second down and 10. That's the best uh, pursuit they've had uh, so, so far this game. Yeah. Uh, just for the linebackers and the ends. Forcing that play out wide, letting your linebackers make the tackles. Yep. Looks like we're going to come to the end of the first quarter. Yes, we are, Coach. 14 nothing, Presidents. Well, quarter one goes to the Presidents. Definitely. Uh, they're what? running back number nine, Gabriel Rodriguez. A um, lot of hard running. Big 30-yard run. He yep. had a four-yard touchdown. And he, uh, you know, he's been tough, and he's picking up pass coverage. He's doing a lot out there. Unlike them, we're not tackling, Coach. We're rap we're hitting them, but not bringing them down. Um, I know you may mention on one play we might have thought he's going to run out of bounds and let up a little bit, but we got to finish the play. That's true. You can't wait for your teammates to make the tackle. Nope. That's what I, I preach. <laughs> To the kids when they were younger, I preach it to my son nowadays. And uh, play to the whistle. Play to the whistle, and everyone's got to be engaged. See, coach, we do have a fan club. I get text coming in that we have a fan club. Oh man, I'm not getting any text. All the way from Florida. <laughs> my uncle, Dapper Dan, watching his great nephew play. President's come out to start the second. Ten, ten, inside Shotgun, handoff. inside handoff to number nine, Rodriguez. Once again, there we go, coach. We tackle. I see Silva. Silva. I see Mantos, and I saw Jack Perrin in the tackle. Loss of three on the play. They're moving in the right direction now, coach. That'll bring up a third down and 13. For the presidents. All right. We had a couple nice picks last week, Coach. Maybe we can squeeze another one here. Looks like number one, Ham, is their go-to guy. Last week in a lot of these situations, we we went to a 4-3 with an extra yep. backer. They didn't do it this time. See what well, happens. Got to get that outside edge. And, and Man looks like Mantos. Sack by Mantos. Whew. Mantos. That's his Five and a half sack on the season, coach, in this early season. He's uh, carrying on from last week yep. where he had a great game. He's in the backfield the entire game. And, you know, he kept his legs moving. Yep. Even downfield, the play was away from him. He'd make a lot of tackles from behind. He played incredible. Yep. And, uh, he's like the diamond in the rough. Yep. Cause we have fourth and 19. President's on, looks like they lined up the punt. Low snap, low punt. Oh, oh fire! Get it. You gotta come get, you get gotta it. get that ball. You can't let that roll. That was a nice friendly bounce for either Farini or Whiteside. And I could say it bounced around the 25 yard line, coach. Maybe the 30. Yeah, I and think it cost them about 15 yards. Yeah, it rolled down to the. Dead at the 10 yard line for the Tigers will take over first and 10. Well, we can go 90 yards, coach. Yeah, one play. How about that? Yep, we'll take that. I think, I think we're going to see uh, Souza. 
a silver on the uh, right edge. There we go. Oh, break a tackle. Yep. It's going to be just short of the first down, I think. Coach going to be second inches. Give us a little breathing room back there. Silver limping off the field now. Into the game is number 22, Henry Marioni. I'd like to see a seam route. What do you think, Coach? I don't, I don't know if the coach is ever going to dial that up for us. No, no. Second and inches. Yep. I like you. Take you a know chance. me. I like that chance. I'm thinking you're just going to see a quarterback. Nope. Hand off this to Morley, I think. Looks like he got the first. Was that was Morley or was that uh, 22, Henry Marioni? Now that was Morley, number 25. Got just enough of the first down. Takes it out to the 21-yard line. Gain a two on the play. Silva back in the game. Can't afford to have him go off the field, Coach. We need, if, if he can't run the ball, we need him in there to be at least a decoy. Take a few snaps here and there. If it's Give him a couple plays off, but he's got to be on the field. Right, a little play action to him. Yep. 161 yards last week for Silver, I believe, right? That's correct. Casey in the center. We got Young behind him. The handoff is to Jordan Young. Takes it up over the 25 yard line, up to, up to 27. 26 yard line, we'll call it. Be a second down in six. Nope, we're we'll going to keep moving it, so we'll go, we'll go five. Keep going. Gain yeah. a five on the play. Might be three in a couple <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Second and five. I think Shut. we're going to see uh, Chad Silver get this one. He's had two plays off. That's yep. enough. The toss to Silver on the right side. Gets out close to a first down, Coach. Couldn't get that one block. Nope. Brings up a third and short. We'll call it third and one. You say two? Third and one here, coach. You give it to your work course, you'll let your quarterback read it. If you get the first, get the sneak, take the sneak. Hand off this to Silver, I believe. Good enough for Tiger first down. Ball out to the 33 yard line, Tigers. White side in the game for uh, Jordan Young. Go white side and a slot on the left. Farini split wide to the left, burn him to the right. Inside hand off to Silva. Breaks a tackle of two. Get out over almost to the 45. Got the 44 yard line. Good enough for a first down. Silva hobbling back off. Needs another quick breather. I'm not sure if Coach realized he came off the field if someone went in for him. Did you see anybody win the game for him, Coach? Henry's out there. Is Henry? All right. I, I must have missed that. Didn't know Henry was that quick. <laughs> Casey in the center. Marioni in the backfield. Casey rolling out to his left. Got plenty of time. Throws the ball. Oh, just out of the reach of... Is that Morley? Did the Morley or no, I think Marioni? Now it, it was Morley. Morley. Yep. He had plenty of time, set his feet just a bit high. He also probably could have taken off a run, run there, Coach. You're right. He, he had um, Mantos out there blocking nobody, waiting for someone to rush. Nice play action. 
That's where you need that nice 6'4 receiver like the NFL <laughs> quarterbacks have. Yeah, we don't have many of those over here. No, no, no. We got second down and 10. Silver back on the field for the Tigers. 6.19 left to go in the first. Hand off is to Morley. Got to get the edge, cut it back. Nice cut back. There we go. Morley is out. Jaden hitting, pancaked. A would be tackler for the Presidents. Great run. Great run by Morley. Put his foot down and got up the field, coach. Got up field, cut it back to the hash marks. Ball is on the 38-yard line of the Presidents. Huge gain there. I don't know what we had. Got to be, what, 10, 15, 30, almost a 20-yard gain, Coach, maybe 22. We got Casey in the center this time with Mario in the backfield. White side. Oh, white side. Fumbled the handoff there. I'm not sure if it was Wayne's. But there was a hole there too, Coach. Yeah, the running back and the quarterback didn't look like they were engaged. Yeah. It looked like they were a little bit spaced out too much. and uh, Could be a little bit of nerves in there. I know um, that might have been Whiteside's actual first varsity carry. I'm not sure. But uh, got second down and 13. Morley and Whiteside in the slot. Marioni deep in the backfield. That's going to be... Oh, it's got to be Grana. Oh, Lewis. Yeah. We can't have that. Can we get a replay on that, Coach? I don't know if the guy still had Wayne's leg. And no, the pass was, was gone. It was a kind of a... Should have been intentional grounding. Shoved in the back, yeah. But I know the guy had Wayne's leg. I don't know if he was... Still had Wayne's leg and... Whoop. Two oh, flags on the... Two flags. They called intentional... No. Yeah, they said intentional grounding. And then a dead ball 15-yard penalty. Personal foul. Yeah, it's hard to recover from this one, yep. Coach. I think we did it last year. Yeah. I think we had a, a second and 35, and we ended up picking it up. And this is a lot more than Crazy 35, way. Coach. <laughs> the ball's going to be placed on our own 25. Coach, I got to take my shoes and off to count that high. I, I don't know how, <laughs> how far this is. We have to go to the 27. We've got two downs to do it, though, Coach. It's, it's like a tennis match when you have to find the first down yep. and where the line of scrimmage is. So it looks like they got to go 10, 20, 30, 47 yards for a first down here. Enough is to Marioni up the gut. Coach is just going to. Take his losses and get punt the ball away. Get him at 54, Ben Feeney into kick. Looks like he's back kind of deep, doesn't it, coach? Gets a decent punt away here. Ball is stopped dead by number nine, Jack Perrin on the 50-yard line. With Coach, I would have agreed with you, but last year I think we had about three or four punts blocked. So. Yes. <laughs> I do remember those, Coach. If he was standing in the end zone, I would have been fine <laughs> by me. A little better punt this time for Feeney. Unlike last week, Coach... Penalties. Yep. 
Uh, last week we didn't have we didn't have very many, maybe one or two, and already we have a handful. We got a hold. We got a a grounding. We have a dead ball personal foul. Dead ball personal foul, which is the that's the big one because you don't get yep. the down over. Presence took the strike here. They got trips now. Quads on the right side. Oh, we got a sack by number 63, Fernandez, and 55, Young, Chris Young. Lewis trying to make up for his mishaps. and I think a fumble recovery. A fumble and a recovery would be sufficient here. Brings up a second down and 15. The Tigers definitely have to get something going here. Yep. Whether it's on defense or offense. The defense has to create a stop before the half. If they can get the ball back, that would be great. But I think the presidents might just be content to run it out. So the coach might have to look to use his timeouts. I agree. For the Tigers here. We still have three left. I think he's got two. He used one earlier. Oh, yes, we used one. They, they have three. They get a bunch of mission to the right. One split wide to the left. And if it's number nine. Brought down. Oh, nice tackle. Open field tackle by number 10. Harold. Harold Smith, as well as Jack Morley, number 25. Harold made the first initial contact. Strung him out. Thought Mantos was going to have him in the backfield for a sec there, coach. And Chad cleaned him up. Yep. Like usual, he's good at that. Loss of one on the play. We bring up a second and third down in 16. Yeah, we need to stop here, coach. Still got two and a half left yep. in the first half. Plenty of time, coach. Plenty of time. Two timeouts. We definitely need to stop here. Well, we got our 3-4 defense out now here, coach, with an extra backer in there. I think they're going to run it inside to number nine. Oh. Nope. A little screenplay. Yep. Uh, I got to make this tackle. And we do not. No, hard running. Hard. Yep. Great design right there. Nice swing pass. And they might measure this, coach. Well, one official is moving the flags, and they are moving the flags. I yeah, think Quincy might uh, look to use their timeouts here the last two minutes. First down and 10 on the all, all rims 40. Handoff is number nine on the inside. Gets about three. Approach a minute 30 left to go in the half. Well, if Quincy's not going to use their timeouts, it's fine by me. Yeah, it's fine by us, Coach Luke. Take a 14 nothing deficit to half. Hit off this number nine. He puts his foot down, gets up the gut. Still going. Tackled by number nine, Jack Perrin. And they do. They do use their first time out. With a minute 12 left to go. We first down. Ball is spotted on the 27 yard line of the Tigers. Coach, with the senior team like we have, it's, uh, it's a little disappointing the way they came out. Yep, it's on teacher appreciation night as well. They, a little something different this year. I don't know if it messed with their minds. You know, take them out of their normal routine before the game. The, um, they talked about payback all week yep. in practice for this for their close loss last year at Quincy. Yeah, and uh -huh. I know Coach stressed about uh, certain guys wanting to come back and make plays that they didn't make last year. Um, I don't know if he singled anybody out, but I know a few kids nodded their head and kind of infer that they had plays that they want to make up. Um, so hopefully 
It's a wake up call. Mm. Well, we got you know, 14 nothing not insurmountable. Well, you got a minute left in this half. We need a good defensive stop here to get the momentum back. Yep. Uh, I believe we are receiving the ball at halftime. We are. So. Quarterback run around the left end. Tackled by a host of Tigers. I think Whiteside is in there. Howard. No, he was no, not. Did not. He was in the backfield, but oh. the play. Maybe it was Lewis then. To the sideline. About 45 seconds left to go in the half. Shotgun snap was low. Quarterback ducks down. And we had an interception by Jack. I think that is Jack Pat. Nick Farini off to the races. Come on, Nick. To the 40. Here no flags. Go. Keep going. Come on, Nick Farini. No laundry. Hold that ball. Keep there we there. go, coach. Just with the doctor ordered. Nick Farini, senior corner safety. Read the play nicely. The quarterback double pumped. Oh. Just what the Tigers needed here, Coach. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Very similar to uh, to Thursday night football game right yep. there. Uh. <laughs> I didn't see the whole end of the game last night, Coach, but that was, from what I saw this morning, the replays was. Well, the Chargers were going to take the lead and go in for an easy touchdown from the four-yard line and pick six. Yep, well, you, you saw Asante Samuel Jr. miss a pick six in the first half Yes. for the Chargers. And that cost them. In the end, almost reminded me of his father missing that interception in the Super Bowl against the Giants. <laughs> but Farini, hopefully, he's not winded here to make the kick. For, we had a fire call. Casey lobs it up. Oh, gotta make the tackle. Gotta make the tackle. Oh, they're All blowing right. it dead. All right. The snap was low. I know we got a new center in there this week. Um, our regular center, I believe, um, number eight. John Pedro has got a, uh, an injury of some sort. He's out for the night. And our other backup center, Henry Leventhal, is out as well. Well, that's a spark maybe that they need to go into halftime, Coach. 29 seconds left. Tigers trail 14 to 6. Coach DeWitt very happy with his defense on that play. 85, uh, I believe it was 85 yards on the pick six. <laughs> Looks like we're going to give Farini a little breather here. He, we're going to have uh, Thomas Whiteside do the kick and do his number 21 for the Tigers. There's some senior leadership, Coach. You're right. I ran into uh, Farini last night, and I said, have a, big, have a good game. And hey. <laughs> hey, so far, so good. There's one we can't take credit for, Coach. He did not play youth football for us. No, but I talked to him last night, <laughs> so I'm taking all the credit. All right, we got it. <laughs> White side with a squib kick. Don't let it go out of bounds. Ooh. Oh, wow, that was a mistake by the uh, yep. up man. Well, I, don't know if it's, I don't know if it made it out of bounds. It took away a little hop there, so. Presidents take over on the 34 yard line, we'll call it. 33. With 29 seconds left to go. Not on kickoff. Huh? What was it? It was 29, right? Yeah, he touched it and then he, he stopped it. Yeah. Clock on the clock doesn't start. He touched it when he was down. Clock won't start until he touches clock it. Won't we got a fan. Just a. Gary Young asking a question why the clock didn't start. We had a heckler in the booth. <laughs> heckler. <laughs> Gary Young, the father of our twin Jordan, uh, excuse me, Jeff and Chris Young. Yeah, not Present, Jordan. Not no, Jordan. No, related, uh, did, no relation. No relation to the Young family. Uh, we have a timeout by Quincy. That is their second. I'm thinking, Coach, I might just want to take a knee here and go into half. You would think. But, oh, the Tigers cannot rest on their laurels and they have to play this play because you never know. Yeah. Coach, I didn't uh, tell you yet, but I got a special guest at halftime I'm going to interview. Nice. Any guesses on who? You got it, Coach. The late. <laughs> Laney? The, the great Laney Clement Holbrook <laughs> will be our halftime guest. 
few fans that are at home. I think she should go into the uh, locker room with the boys and give them a pep talk. Well, she did. She did speak with the boys this week. She had uh, gave. Them, uh, we'll, we'll go over that halftime. We're a couple of her pointers that she she was, right. went over with the boys. Good. So all you at home watching, don't don't go away. Is this going to be more of a Barbara Walters type or a Howard Stern type <laughs> of interview? It will not be Howard Stern. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just checking. We'll, call, we'll play Brian Gumble. All right. Handoff is number nine. Tackled by, looks like Marioni. We must be on. Uh, Marioni or Young? Might have been Jordan Young. I believe we're in our 3-4 defense there, Coach. Number 33, Thomas Quizzoli is our extra linebacker. And it looks like they brought in some speed at the uh, right end. We got Mantos, who's on the right end? C.J. Crocker. C.J. Crocker, a, yep. Defensive end on this play. Fresh legs. And they're going to run the wide side again to number nine. He's going to string it out. Covered well by the Tigers. Nothing stupid Mantos, here. and I believe it was Jack Perrin. Or Cozzoli, uh, maybe Cozzoli. Host of Tigers, we'll call it. Jack Perrin was not in play. He was on the other side of the field. So 14 seconds. We got third down and three for the Presidents. Should be the last play of the half, you would think. They do have a timeout. Inside handoff. Inside handoff to number nine. To number nine. That is fourth up. down. Coach DeWitt is yelling for a timeout with eight seconds left. Oops, seven seconds. That's smart. You never know what the kicking games are going to do. Yep. Bad snap. If I was Quincy, I would run it up the middle once again. <laughs> and then we get the ball maybe with three seconds left or one Hail Mary. Well, it looks like they might. Well, I don't know if anyone's coming back yet, but. Uh, you're gonna, they're just going to kick this away, Coach. It's be a smart play because once we tackle them, clock's not going to start to the snap. You tackle them. You run it up the middle for two yards. Yeah, you might have a play, one play. Yeah, but it's, yeah, but it's let my defense play. Yeah. And it looks like they do have the offense still in the field. I don't see, oh, I don't see the quarterback out there. Might be a direct snap. It looks like number nine is going to be back to do the punting duties. Direct snap run is my guess. Oh, fumble. And the clock will stop with two seconds left, coach. Our offense has one play from the 38 yard line. Anything could happen, Coach. Might be a Bronson Burnham special. It might be. He lit it up for a couple of years in the JV level. And uh, loves getting that streak up the sideline. Yep. We got Harold Smith. Looks like he's Harold Smith going in. Casey, Whiteside. The ball spot on the 39. They can't end it on defensive penalty either, Coach. Looks like they might be using Harold Smith out there. Yep, Harold Smith, Farini. We got all the speed. Looks like it's on the right side. Dewitt, Coach Dewitt, using his second timeout, or is that his final timeout? I think it was his final timeout. Shout 
Not sure what coach is looking to looking to do. It looks like he's gonna drive up a play in the huddle. So he doesn't draw out of my but field, coach. He's gotta get this ball probably about I'm assuming he's gonna roll out to his right. Gotta get it in the air, 45 yards. We get Smith and Farini to the left. He lets it go, nice ball. Ah, Farini fell down and the ball lands incomplete. That is the end of the first half with the Tigers trailing six to 14. Well, they had a chance on that play, Coach. They did. But 50-50 ball, you can't fall down. Nope. You get some stats for us there, Coach? Yes, the unofficial halftime stats are brought to you by... <laughs> <laughs> All of our boosters. <laughs> you know who you are. Yeah. Um, um, looks like Chad, all our boosters, ECAT stats. Chad Silver's leading the way for the Tigers with about 47 yards on the ground. Uh, Morley had a couple of big, uh, had one big run. Yeah, about 20 yards in that run. 22 Maybe yards, 22. and he also had a three yard carry. He has 25 yards, and uh, the big play on the defense was uh, Farini with the pick six. Yep. For 85 yards for Quincy. Number nine, Gabriel Rodriguez. Yes. He's been their stud. Unofficially, he has about 68 yards on the ground and another 15 yards um, on that catch from one of his catches. Yep. Um, he's been he's been moving the ball pretty consistently up the middle. Um, their one of their captains, Stephen Garan, has a 15-yard carry. And number one, Jacob Ham had a, a touchdown. He's got a couple that. of good receptions. Yep. He's got about 45 yards and a touchdown on two catches. Now that Tiger cheerleaders there performing at halftime for us. Now the president cheerleaders will be performing. And coach, that's our unofficial halftime. Unofficial. That uh, yeah, you're pretty accurate there, coach. I think it was pretty. I saw you write them down in between plays here. I do my best. I gotta put my shoes back on. Yeah, you're using my fingers sometimes, <laughs> though. It's Well, better way to end the half. The pick six. You can uh, build on that, hopefully. Well, the good thing is we get the ball back. At halftime, get a little pep talk from coach, move the ball, get downfield, and uh, make this a game. Yes. Coach, I'll turn it over to you. All right. As soon as the Quincy Chaley's are done, I'm going to have the great Laney Clement Holbrook sit next to me, and we'll give a little interview. All right, that is the Quincy cheerleaders and the all Ream Tiger cheerleaders. And I'm gonna uh, ask Coach Holbrook if you can step on down. How are you, Coach? I'm just ducky, Coach. Excellent. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Awesome. I want to in, uh, introduce Coach Laney Clement Holbrook. I'm going to go above and beyond here, Coach. 
the winningest basketball coach in the state of Massachusetts, high school history. Um, I believe that's boys and girls. No, boys got you beat. Nah. Well, anyways, in my eyes, the best coach in high school sports, basketball. Well, thank you, sir. She is recently retired from coaching. Sad to say. But uh, what, are you gonna, what are you doing with your time these days, Coach? Well, I'm still teaching. Yep. So I still teach anatomy physiology, so I'm in the building every day. Nice. So I still have, you know, contact and connections with um, my players who helped to win the state championship last year. So um, I get to see them every day in school, which is awesome. Now, that was your third state championship in the last seven years, eight years? Uh, oh, no. 2006, 2010, 2022. 20, yeah. Amazing run, Coach. Thank you. How many wins? I know how many there are, but I don't want you to. Uh, 733. 33. That was amazing. I had the privilege of coaching with you for, under you for four years and learned a lot. Um, hope to get back. I stopped coaching this past year, and because of my own kids' sports, I wouldn't see my son Daniel play. Um, but I hope to get back into it, and I have learned a lot from you. I want to thank you for the tremendous if knowledge that you've brought, given me over the years. Um, well, you, are, you, you know, you, you, your family is deeply embedded in the sports history in all, at all frames, and so I think there's a, a greater level of appreciation for what happens just because of that, just because your dad and... You know, your brothers and your sisters. Yep. And I'm really proud of your sister, Bridget, who played for me and then went on to play at Bryant. And then she's been the head women's basketball coach at my alma the mater, Omada. Bridgewater State, for almost 25 years. Yep. So what a tremendous connection. Yep. And she, I know personally, I believe she owes a lot to you. And she comes to you, I, I know, for knowledge and when she has things on her mind. And you're a great resource for every young coach to look up to. Um, and I'm sure Brittany Engel, our new head coach at Oliver Ames, will be right on her speed dial when she needs to be, and I, I know you'll be there for her, as you've always been for all the, anybody that reaches out to you. Um, with that said, I know Coach DeWitt reached out to you and asked you to speak to the boys this week. Yes, I did. And I don't want to go into too much, but if you can just kind of paraphrase what you information you might have given the boys to lead them to tonight's game? Well, I wanted them to understand the value of their experience and to recognize that, you know, they have what they have because of who came before them and all the situations that had presented itself prior to that. So I shared with them my four pillars of be prepared, make your minutes matter for the good of the group and pay it forward so that they understood that you know, it's a culture that we have here at Oliver Ames High School as far as the athletic program goes. And from my perspective, I think the girls in the basketball program understood from the very beginning the importance of when you put that jersey on, you're not representing yourself. You're representing all those who came before you. Mm -hmm. And that, to me, is something that my basketball players truly understood, and they were willing to pay it forward. Um, on October 1st, uh, at Eastern Country Club, our 2010 state champions are being inducted into the Oliver Ames Athletic Hall of Fame. And one of the things I want to remind them of is the fact that it was their responsibility to pay it forward based upon the 2006 state champions. And I have pictures of my 2010 players sitting behind the scorer's table at Boston Garden as we played in the EMAS final. And it's just kind of one of those things that they see as young athletes, what goes into winning the state championship, and they embodied that, and then they paid it forward, and the same thing happened from 2010 to 2016. And we have pictures of the senior class from 2022 who were at the Boston Garden watching Kayla Raymond and her team play, and so that whole concept of paying it forward is really something that I'm really proud of. Yep. And I can attest that on your first day, not first day of tryout, but the first day you make the teams for your, your girls, you give that speech. And I've been there f for three times anyways. And you make the girls look up at the banners. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's always meant something to me going to school here at Alvarez. And 
for the boys' aspect, looking up the banners and same thing, appreciate what came before you. Right. And don't let them down. Don't, you know, they went through something, you got to go through it. Right. It's the, and, le it's the legacy, yep. you know, and you want them to remember that, you know, that, that they're all watching you and, and, and they want to make sure that you're putting your heart and soul into what it is that you do because you represent something bigger than yourself. That's right. Well, Coach, I wish you the best in your retirement. Thank you. I know you'll, you'll see me. I, I know you'll, you'll be see around. see me, buddy. Um, thank you. Absolutely. Um, it's my pleasure. I appreciate it. No worries. Let's go Tigers. Let's go Tigers. Let's go Tigers. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Oliver Ames High School Sports home game coverage is underwritten in part by Bank of Easton, Premier Properties, Law Office of Sutton & Sutton, Easton Historical Society and Museum. Oliver Ames Football is also underwritten by Easton Country Club. ECAT would like to thank all sponsors for making coverage of all this year's home games possible.
Uh, welcome back. Tigers will re see the opening the second half kickoff. Well, Coach, we talked about it at halftime. The Tigers could really turn this momentum around, get the crowd back into this game if they can put something together immediately, starting with the kickoff. Yep. Um, they've been really conservative on that on the kicking game returns, yep. which is... We've got uh, Whiteside and Smith back deep for the Tigers. Be nice if they came up, caught this one, get a couple of blocks, and uh, get it on the other side of the 50. We know the squib kick. we got to get on that ball. We'll let it go out of bounds. Oh, Dobbin. I'm going to say inexperienced mistake there. He, he's at the sideline. he got to let that ball go out of bounds. Well, actually, no. We get the ball in the 30 in high school football. It goes out of bounds. So we get the ball in the 34, 33-yard line. It was kind of moving slow, too. So yep, good decision yep. there, in my opinion. Uh, so I want to thank our halftime co guest, uh, Coach Holbrook, and uh, wish her well in her re partial retirement, I guess you call it. Um, yes, great run. I went to every single game in the playoffs, and uh, – even ventured up to Lowell. Yep, it was a hell of a game. Oh. Um, it was a hell of a game for us, but <laughs> not for Norwood. Not for Norwood. <laughs> but, uh, All right, we got Casey in the center of this. I uh, got Silver in backfield. Oh, breaks a tackle, runs his own man over. Gets the ball out over the 40 yard line. Yeah, the middle linebacker for uh, Quincy blitzed, blitzed and, and he, uh, yep, he ran right by him. Ran right by the running back, inside handoff to Kate at uh, Silva. CJ Crocker into the game for Jordan Young. The gain of nine on that coach, we'll call it. We'll give him nine. And Mr. Tom Melvesti, hopefully, we, uh, you, I know you're living in Easton now, and you you got to realize where your roots are, buddy. You may have grown up in Quincy, you might work in Quincy, but uh, you're living in Easton now. you got a right roof of the Tigers. Casey in the center. we got Crocker and Silver in the backfield. And off is the Silva. Stopped in the play. Well, whoever came up and uh, met the fullback yep. did his job did and his uh, <laughs> pushed the fullback right back into, into Silva. Yeah, you're going to see Jordan Young back in the game, I believe. And as well as Farini. Okay. We got a third and one. No gain on that carry. No gain on that carry. Still a favorable uh, down in distance. And off Mr. Silva, out almost to the 45-yard line. Good enough for a Tiger first down. Henry Marioni checking into the game, number 22 for the Tigers. Be a first down and 10 at the Tigers 44. Coach, we saw a lot of this Quincy team in the uh, seven on sevens this, this summer. Am I correct? Yes, we did. Okay. Morley in motion. The handoff is to Morley. Breaks it out. Took his foot down. Gets out over almost to the 40 yard line up of the. Nope, that was Jordan Young, coach. That was Jordan Young on the carry. My mistake. That about a 13 yard gain, I believe. I'm going to give him 15, 15 on the uh, unofficial right. stats okay. for the game. I thought that was Jack Moley in motion. It was Jordan Young. Moley in motion this time. The handoff. Oop, we got laundry. Dead ball. False stat. I'm guessing a lineman was leaning one way, not the right way. A 
Bring up first down and 15. Ball will be placed on the 46 yard line. Always got to keep this game clean with the flags and the penalties yep. um, to get back into this. And also just to keep the momentum. Blitz on the play by number 52. Silva sidesteps him. Tigers might want to change their snap count here, Coach. Yeah, that was a number seven for Quincy. Yep. Kevin Gray met Chad in the backfield. Blitz and linebacker was number 52, Mason McDonough. Almost broke the tackle, but yep. he got uh, tackled him by the shoestrings. So you got to get about half of it here to make third down respectable. Yep. And if you do that, then you're at least you're in four down territory. And they, they did. They drew them off sides, Coach. I believe we're getting our five yards back. But we moved, but we, they were in the neutral zone when we moved. Hopefully the officials start the same way. I don't know. The running back started yeah, running. Dead ball encroachment there on the defense. Go. I like it. I'd do the same thing again, Coach. Why not? <laughs> well, <laughs> that's, that's what we're going to do get, to get yards. Uh, <laughs> it might be a long night. Yeah, it'll, it'll stop them from blitzing. You get them twice in a row. That's slows true. them down that's, a little bit. Yeah, changing the snap count. Wasn't picking up what you were laying down, but <laughs> now I got it. Silva busts the hole up the middle. Still on his feet. Out to the 25 yard line. It's good for a 15, almost 17 yard gain there, coach. I'm going to go with the Tig 17. And Tiger's going quick here. Going quick. I see they go up the top. Nope, going the same play, just to the right side. Number one with a shoestring tackle. Senior captain. Uh, J.C. Ham with Ham. the uh, with the touchdown save and tackle. Yep. But it was after a gain of about six. Called second down and four. Ball on the 24-yard line, it looks like. The 19-yard line. Let's put Chad behind this offensive line and let him go to work. Short gain on the play. Out to about the 22. We'll bring up a second down, a third down and two. They're trying to switch it up a little bit, but I think they should take advantage of that right side of the uh, of the offensive line for yep. OA. They've been moving the ball on that side pretty effectively. Mm -hmm. Yep, we got uh, Jaden Hinton and Luis Fernandez on the right side. As we said last week, Jaden has uh, had one offer to Columbia uh, to further his education and play football. Casey in the center. Handoff this time is to Silver again up the middle. For a game, just looks like a good enough for first down coach to the 15. And it is a first down. It is a first down. Five fifty to go in the third quarter. This is old school football, coach. Yep. Um, Not a lot of towns running anymore, but here at Alvarez, we got workhorses in the backfield. We go to them. Throwback to John Riggins. Yep. He was one of my favorite Fifth running backs time. back yep. in the day. And Tom Rathman. He's more of a fullback. They have Roger Craig. Jack Morley. Oh, brought down at the one yard line. Oh, coach, he's got to get oh. in. That's a great misdirection play. Uh, I'm guessing all of Quincy thought um, Silva was going to get the ball up the middle. Moley came around the left end for a gain of 14 on the play. 
Brings up a second down, uh, first down and goal from the one yard line. We're being attacked in a booth by yeah. some butterflies. Mothra. <laughs> So we got uh, Casey in the center. Looks like they're going goal line defense. Casey pushing forward. Uh, I don't think he got a coach. No. Nope. Doesn't have the leg drive his father has. You know, I'm going to blame Silver on that one. He's done everything great, but he did not help push the quarterback nope. into the end zone. Everyone's got to be involved in that play. Yep. No, we were in the bootleg last week for a touchdown for Casey. I'm thinking the silver up the middle this time, though, Coach. I think so. Maybe that's or, why Silver didn't push. Off tackle. <laughs> <laughs> silver wants a touchdown. Rightfully so. He, he was a workhorse this drive. Yeah, and Silver walks into the end zone for the Tigers. <laughs> Looks like the Tigers will go for two here. Get Jake Mantos limping a little bit. Might wanna might wanna get Donovan in there for him. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Big play here, going for two. We don't need anybody hobbling that can't put weight on an ankle or something, coach. Yeah, this is a big play. Sorta. Yep. That's a Mentally for OA, it's a big play, but uh, in the grand scheme of the game, it's it's really it's still early. It is Plenty early. of time. They don't convert. Casey's gonna walk oh, into the end zone for in. two. <laughs> Tigers tie the game up. We got uh, that was a nice eight minute and two second drive, coach, to start the half. Coach DeWitt is fired up. Just what they needed. Exactly. Just what we talked about coming out of halftime. Yep. LA was getting the ball. They got that pick six by Farini. Changed yep. the tide. Yep. And the momentum is now on the OA side. It is. And now the defense has to. Now the team's got to get this these guys up, get the whole defense up. Offense get you water. Huge defensive stand here. Chad Silver on the sidelines fired up. Let's stay on him. Well, I hope the coaches are yelling, watch number nine, because yep. uh, he's their workhorse for Quincy. He's been doing most of the damage. Um, I think if they can key on him, slow him down, let everyone else beat you, I feel. Yep. 14-14. Yep. New ball game, coach. 3.58 to play in the third. Looks like Farini's going to do the kicking duties. I started my car halfway through the first quarter, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> hopefully it shuts off automatically. <laughs> it does, it does. The kick is a squib kick. Funny bounce, oh, no funny bounce Ooh, there. Right. Gotta make that tackle, gotta make a tackle, gotta make a tackle. And uh -oh. Oliver Levine, the sophomore, had a chance to stop him around the 30 yard line. I think Nick Farini got his shirt, and, yep. dragged him down. But we need a defensive stand here, Coach. Um, President take over on the, their own 49-yard line with first and 10. Great field position. Yep. You know, helps that that going to help maybe give them momentum. But nice defensive stand here would be nice. President's line of trips to the right. Oh, excuse me, twins to the right, twins to the left. Motion to trips. Hand up is up the middle, number nine. of, we'll call it eight on the play. Dunham back in the game for Chris Young. Mm -hmm. Seems to be hobbling a little bit. I'm sure his shin injury is. Coach, as I look at my stat sheet, number nine for Quincy fills up all but about two or three plays. Yeah. There he is again. I'm tackled. Good enough for first down into the Tigers' 37-yard line. 
is Rodriguez. Too many arm tackles, coach. Quincy's the president's line. Give him credit. They've been uh, they've been moving the pile. No holds. And I wouldn't say they're overly, overly sized or nope. they just got great mechanics. Almost look like a North Attleboro offensive line. Just young, like fit, like tough kids. Here's a, nope, he's not passing. He's just, here's a hold on the end. Uh, they're not going to call that. Nope. Right in front of the official. Got Jack Perrin's arm locked up. First down run by the quarterback. Novak is good for four. Bring up a second down and six. Second He's had a couple of couple of runs today, but none of substance. Coach, I'm guessing number uh, Rodriguez to get the ball here number nine. <laughs> he did have a one play <laughs> break, so yeah. and they need those sometimes. Right side. And dive up the middle. Short gain on the play. Be a third mm -hmm. down and. Look like Hinton and Silver four. were there with the stop. Yep. Call third and four. That's what you get. A two yard gain there. I think it was a two yard gain. All right, big down right here. Two down territory anyway, but. Yep. They don't get it here. It looks for uh, Quincy will probably go for it on fourth down. I'm guessing. Nope, they're gonna throw the ball here. We got Mantos. Oh, dive! It's a good hit. Good hit. I don't know where he went out of bounds, but Mantos had a chance in the backfield there, Coach. Looks like he's gonna be just short of the first down. About a yard short. Uh, looks like they're gonna. Looks like they're gonna bring the chains out and measure. I think it's more so that it's gonna be a fourth down. I think, but it's more so to make sure the ball's at the spot of the right position on the, on the hash mark. First down. The Tiger players in the field don't like that, but oh, another play. That's all we gotta do, coach. One play at a time. One play at a time. Fresh set of downs for Quincy. Yep. Ball is placed on the 16 yard line, I think. Can't see here. 26 yard line. We got a first down run by Rodriguez. Ball we placed on the 15 yard line. First down and 10. As we approach 40 seconds. Can of 11. Yep. Enough is to Rodriguez again. He's tackled by Perrin at the eight yard line. I think that's going to be the last play of the third quarter. Ball spot on the nine yard line. The game tied at 14. We will head to the fourth. Well, Coach, looks like it might be the last team that has the possession of the ball might win this game. Hopefully you're right. 
Um, and I hope uh, the Tigers have the ball to end the game. <laughs> It's, uh, the defense looks a little discouraged. Uh, they know number nine's getting the ball, yep. and there's nothing they could do. It's a little quick inside handoff, fullback belly play. I haven't seen much movement up the, on the line, like traps or anything. I don't see any linemen pulling. It's just it's man just on man. Straight blocking. Um, I'm trying to size up there, center number 55. Um, Devin Neely. You don't want to start tweaking with your secondary too much because no. that, that'll that come back to bite you. They'll do a little play action, throw it over the top. Well, I'm thinking if you look at the size of the center, I'm, I almost think about putting uh, Mr. Hinton on the center, playing head up and see if he can get some push. Size-wise, Jaden's going to be double his size. Well, they've been running inside. Yep. No, that's why I say. So I think they got Hinton diving inside. Chris Young's diving inside. Although it looks like he's playing tackle right now. Handoff is up the middle. Inside handoff, right up, right, at, right at Jaden. Yep. And we got a flag on the play. From the far side, judge. Looks like Lewis got pulled down on that one. Yep, maybe. We need our Bellastrator here, Coach. They're still talking here, huh? They didn't... Quincy was ready to run a play. Yep. If, uh, if the refs weren't ready, <laughs> Quincy was ready. <laughs> How do you call a play not knowing where you're going to have the ball, coach? Your face mask. Oh, maybe they knew the play. You didn't signal on who? Looks like half the distance. It's going to be on the Tigers, I, I guess. That'll place the ball on the... About the two yard line? About the two. Be first down and goal from the two. They spread out with three receivers and they, yep. they run it inside oh. every single time. Oh. That's the busted play that's going to oh, go for a touchdown. Oh, that's a block in the back, maybe. No, no laundry on the play on that one. That was a busted play. He turned to hand it to the, the running back and fumbled the ball and you're right coach broken play um, potential missed tackle but yep. nothing really there the quarterback had an angle big extra point here kick is up and good. Second into the fourth quarter, Quincy takes a 21 to 14 lead. Well, I'd like to see the uh, return team for Oliver Ames be a little bit more aggressive. aggressive. Um, it seems like they yell fire every single time the ball's kicked, whether it's a kickoff or a punt. And with the Quincy kicker kicking it so short, we could definitely get some good field position if we if we pick it up, catch yep. it in the air, and, just and get 10 yards. That's all you need. Straight forward. No, no dilly dally. No north south, not east west. And don't just dive on it on the sideline. No. <laughs> Better kick right to white side. Get get upfield. Upfield. Put the. He tried to make a move. Takes the ball to the 33 yard line. Yeah. 
All right. Here we go, coach. You tag his ball on the 32 yard line, first and 10. This has been the Silver Rodriguez show. Yep. For this game. Chad Silver running the ball hard for you, the Tigers, and then uh, Rodrigo. I don't know, Coach. Rodriguez. You, you, you got to throw Nick Farini in there. He's got the lone, one of the touchdowns to the Tigers on a pick six for 85 yards. And Silver out, busted outside, fumbles the ball right into the hands of a waiting president. Presence will take over on the 28 yard line. All right, well. Coach, in all the years I've seen Chad play football, I can't remember him fumbling like that. A fumble loss, yeah. It's, I don't remember it either. It's almost like sweet, sweet feet for the Patriots who didn't fumble once in his whole career, I don't think. Well, we know what we need. We need to get it back. Yep. And, um, we can't let what happened in the first turnover on the kickoff nope. happen. The receiver's moving on the, on the end here. But they're going they back are, to the pass. No Look up. And no, it. the ball hit the all rim defender in the back. I think that was Jack Perrin. Had I, he turned around. I think he, it hit the receiver in the chest and he it? dropped it. Did it? Well, you get the replay there. From my point of view, it's like a hit parent in the back. Can we get a zoom in on that? No, we cannot. No, no zoom. <laughs> Technology has failed us oh. on the replay. But I'm wearing my glasses, Coach, so. <laughs> President's going for blood there, Coach. Yep, they did it in the first half. Yep, it worked. Hand off to oh, number nine, Rodriguez. Little fumble. Little arm tackles in the backfield. He breaks him and gets out to about the 25-yard line. Looked like the quarterback had a little trouble getting that out of his yep. hands. Down. Slowed down the carry. He got about three yards on that one. President well, twins to the right, shock information, the handoff is to no shocker here, Rodriguez. Tackled by a host of Tigers. And that was Chad Silva, Jack Perrin. And I think Chris Young. For no gain. It'll be third down and seven. No gain. Big play right here, coach. We third down or fourth down? I think it's third. It's third down. Third down and seven. I oh, know it is fourth down, coach. Fourth down. We got fourth on the clock, fourth on the board there. Big down for the Tigers, fourth down. <laughs> I'll take it. Two runs and a pass up the sideline. You are correct. Here we go. Pass. Oh. Over uh, the head. <laughs> Tigers got lucky on that one. They had an open receiver. Um, got behind the defense. We had Whiteside was a closer defender. The line, the linemen have to get to that quarterback yep. in a play like that. I know Chad had a blitz. He blitzed on that one. Uh, he didn't he leave got, the pocket. Nope. He stepped up. Nobody was there to meet him. They kind of just... Dance with, dance with the linemen. Well, they were waiting for their teammate to make the tackle. Yep. They did a lineman dance, we call it. So Tigers take over at the where are you, 25 yard line. Be first and 10 with 9.29 left to go in the game. Casey with the hand off to Silva, who makes a few moves, dives forward out to about the 29 yard line. Gain of four, three, or three on the play. Four on the play. We'll call it second down and six. Oh, 
Another great crowd hit tonight, Coach. Standing room only. Casey, the shotgun formation. Hand off is to Jordan Young, who breaks a tackle, bounces it outside with a stiff arm. It's out over the 35-yard line to about the 38 for the Tigers. For another first down. The first down, gain of eight. Gain of eight. Great individual effort there by Jordan Young. Appeared to be wrapped up, backed out of it down the field, and then turned the corner and picked up eight. That's what those drills come into play when you're moving your feet. Yep. The old pinwheel drill. Jumping over the uh, jumping over the cones and the, the bags. The bags. Just keep moving your feet. We got Woolley in Bronson split wide to the right. Casey in the center. The handoff is to Silva. Oh, puts a move on the cornerback. Chad is going. He's going. He's gone. He's got Go. to have an angle on One the man the beat. Stiff arm. Stiff arm. Oh, out at the five. Great run by Chad Silva. Just what the Tigers needed. Be knocked out the six yard line. Or maybe the seven. The seven. Yeah, we'll call it the seven yard line. Be first and goal for the seven for the Tigers. With 8 14 to go in the game. That was about a, what, 45 yard run, coach? I, I got about 60 here. 60? <laughs> yeah. Well, there's another one there. Oh yeah, we were, yeah, we were on the, yep, that's right. You, you're right, coach. I was on the wrong side of the 40. It's all right. We're on the 38 this yard is, line and now we're down to the eight. This is unofficial. <laughs> we gotta get in the end zone. Yep, I'd almost go with a bootleg again, coach. It worked once. They, they've been keying on Silva, keying on Silva. Fake the inside handoff. Yep. Oh, it's a Morley. Gonna string Gotta it out. back. Yeah. Keep the feet pumping. Yeah, get down to the five. Uh, Be third and goal from the five. Do a couple things there. You give, you give Chad a breather on that play. Looks White like side going to the game for... Bronson. I mean, you got to give your work, workhorse here. Just under seven minutes to go. Crocker in at fullback. Hit up Mr. Silva up the middle. Falls forward to about the three. About the two. Two? One and a half, two. Two. Fourth and goal from the two for the Tigers. The team is firing, trying to fire the crowd up here. Jordan Young back in the game for C.J. Crocker. Casey in shotgun. And we got a timeout by the Presidents. Just under six minutes to go here. Well, Coach, this is going to be, uh, you know, it's going to be man on man right here. I don't think uh, I don't think the Tigers are going to do anything fancy. So we're going to have to see if Quincy uh, can stop Chad. I'm guessing. Yeah. Well, a couple things here. You, you, if you fake it to Chad. Bootleg option. Bootleg option. Um, I, you know whether you can leak a receiver out behind the corner and. Wayne's rolling out to it either, either way. You can either run or dump it off to receiver if that's the case. But, and then if, if we don't get it by chance, I'm knocking on wood because I 
we trapped him at the two yard line. Correct. And you know, they'd have a long way to go. A long way to go. We had a great we defense. Got, de- great defense stance last time. Got about six minutes left in this game. Yep. You got all your timeouts. Plenty of time in a game like this. Yep. I'm guessing we're going to run the play right from here, right, go right to the line of scrimmage and see what we got. We toss this to Chad on the left side. Looks like he's got the corner coach. He does. Touchdown, Tigers. What do you do, Coach? He's going for two. He's going for two. I like the call. I do. We don't have our our regular uh, snapper, long snapper. In the two work, uh, Chad Silver on the touchdown. Um, We do have injuries at our center position on the point after. Um, As I said before, um, John Pedro is out, and Harry Leventhal, our backup center, is out as well. So this is it. This is it. Coach is going for two. There is plenty of time left in this game, Coach. So yep. regardless of what happens here, there's a lot of football left. I love Coach DeWitt's call here. Oh, the, the call that is coming. Handoff is to Silva. And he's that? in. Yes, awesome. the Tigers take a 22 to 21 lead. Coach DeWitt is fired up. The town is Easton is fired up. Woo. That is a great call, Coach. With 5.50 left to go in the fourth quarter. Now we're just going to stop the Rodriguez show, Coach. Four downs. That's true. They did a good job of it last possession. Yep. I think the coach went in his bag a little too much. Went for a couple of deep passes. Could have put the game away. Ran a lot of clock. Yep, he was, try- he was trying. He threw the ball two times and uh, OA got it back. Did the, did the right thing with the ball. Yep. Get Farini kicking off for the Tigers. a little squib kick. Let's get that funny bounce. Nope. Oh, it's Woo. tackle made by that number 71. I don't know if 71 my program here, Coach. No, I'm looking at the wrong roster. Willie Rosso. Nice job, Willie. Uh, touchdown saving tackle there, apparently, for, possibly for the Tigers. Yeah, that Whew. Kickoff return needs to be addressed. Yep. <laughs> well, high school football sometimes coach you. I did coach high school for a little while, a couple years back, and I always said, especially the third of the game, determines where the ball is placed. And no shock on number nine, tackle this time. Well, I yeah. guess who, coach? Donovan Howard Donovan there. Donovan Howard. <laughs> one of our guys. Well, one of your guys. And, Wrapped but, uh, his legs up in the background. He fell forward for about a yeah, half yard oh, game. And he's, and he's limping off the field. Ooh. Hopefully he's all right. Yeah, he wrapped him up by the legs yep. in the backfield and uh, did the old alligator roll. Oh, we got a helmet toss on the sideline. Hopefully he's not hurt that bad, Coach. I hate, I hate to see those. Yeah, especially uh, the game he's having. Yeah, he's having a... Pretty good talent out there on the field. Yep. Let's see what their backup can do. Number 28. I don't have a Alex Martinez. Falls forward for a game, short game. Bring up a third down and six. Uh, Martinez, what did I say? Number 28. 28. Um, sophomore running back. Got some big shoes to fill. Quick 
Quincy comes out and twins to the left, twins to the right. Rodriguez. And we drop back the pass here. And we get it sacked. I'm going to say Jake Mantos, coach. Jake Mantos. Jake Mantos on the sack. I'm not gonna, I would be remiss if I didn't say that Jaden Hinton was right there as well, but I believe the sack's going to go to Mantos. Will be his six and a half sack on the year from un, unofficial. It looks like they're going to go to a 3-4. Uh, three, four. Three, four. Yep. Lewis comes out and Marioni comes in. Brought in an extra linebacker. Be a fourth down and ten. Big play here for the Tigers. Uh, play regular defense here, Coach. Well, the secondary has to step up. Yep. Can't let anybody behind you. Make the guy, and make knock, the catch in front of you. And knock it down. Knock it down. Out of play. All right. Pass is incomplete. We had some pressure on the play by Mr. Howard. With 3.35 left to go in the game, the Tigers will take over at midfield. And I believe, Coach, we're going to have a heavy dose of Chad Silva here. Yeah, the unofficial stats of the game brought to you by our fine booster club. Yes. <laughs> um, Chad Silva is approaching 160 yards once again. I got him unofficially at about 157. Yep. But my math could be wrong. He could have 180. Who knows? Yep. But we did run our fingers and toes, Coach. He's been running very well. Yeah, I got everyone in the booth here to take their shoes off. <laughs> so you can add another I think we're yard. Pretty accurate. Add another yard on that, Coach. Silva coming out of the game. I think his helmet came off. He's got to come out for at least a play. We're going to run some clock. Yep. And taking around three minutes here, Coach. Force Quincy to call some timeouts. Quincy needs the Quincy's looking for a stop here. Yeah, we need a, one first down. I think. I don't, I'm not going to say we'll do it, but a little more breathing room. Quinn's got two timeouts remaining. Wayne's gonna wait. No. No, there was a neutral zone there, it looked like. Is that Morley on the tackle on, on the carry? Coach DeWitt looking for an offside call. Yeah, it looked like his helmet might have yeah, gone he, over. We he, have he jumped a little bit. He was Definitely offsides. No gain on the play. We'll bring up a third down. I mean, we have the perfect angle here. <laughs> Quindy uses this second time out, I believe. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing Silva's back in the game on this play, Coach. And I'm going to run down there and give him a... <laughs> 800 milligrams of Tylenol. <laughs> Got to keep him in the game. Yep. You made a little oxygen. Yeah. He's, he deserves a break, though. Not right now. We can't give him a break now. A little icy hot. <laughs> Mid-game therapy. I don't think you're going to see anything fancy from the Tigers. No. Nope. Uh, Two and a half left to go in this game, and even if you don't get much, you can punt, punt them deep, yep. back them up. Um, get all your fast guys out there to make make a good coverage. I'm, I'm guessing Coach Ruth's going to stand right next to the official here, and we're going to go on two here, Coach. Casey rolling out. Thank you. Throws it out of bounds. Once again, Coach, we I don't know why we roll out to our left side. You know, our quarterback's a right-handed thrower. I know a lot of coaches want to call the play to their own sideline. But it didn't look like he had a choice on that, no. Coach. Uh, it looked like the rush, they blitzed yep. on the left side of the center, and uh, he kind of had to roll in that direction. 
So it looks like, nope, we move back. Looks like that far, far guy is, is lined up offside. Nope, we move back as well. Oh no. Just jump on it. Just jump on it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. That's why you got to jump on it. Well, two minutes. Two and 12. Two 12 left. Ugh. Costly. Unfortunate. And once again, Coach, I think. Uh, the injuries played into injuries that. Injuries plays into it. When you but no matter what, you got to knock that ball down. Yep. Um, so that's going to a lot of our sophomore punter. Presidents take over on the 10 yard line, on the 12 yard line. And Rodriguez is back in the game. Hand up Mr. Rodriguez who dances a little bit, upended after a short gain. By Lewis. Yep. Gain of two. Coach Switz got three timeouts left. Not sure if this is going to come down to the kicker for Quincy. Yep. But he is three for three. Short gain Short up the gain. middle. Looks like he's able to the seven yard line. Third down. Nope, he's throwing the ball here. And wide open in the back of the end zone is number one. Uh, I don't have to stay there, coach. Well, one good thing, coach, we still have three timeouts and a minute and ten left. We do have breakaway speed. You're right, the three timeouts are huge, and be nice to get a nice kickoff return. Yep. Get us some, get us north of the, or At least from our mid midfield. Get us west of the 50 yard line. Well, they're going for two here. Which is a good call. Gotta get to that edge. That's a oh, hold all hold. day. Nice play. Nice tackle. Matter. Chad was being held. The ref didn't call it. Yep. Coach, what I would do here, I would actually put my best blockers in the game right now on special teams. Looks like he's marching out his standard unit. I'd be subbing in a few kids right here and there. Absolutely. Se seniors, put them out there. Hey, you want this game? It's yours. Go get it. It's Whiteside and um, Silva, uh, not Silva, um, Smith back deep for the Tigers. I'm guessing it's going to be another squib kick. Yeah, I don't think it's going to get back to them, but who knows. Yep. Get out Smith the on the catch. Get upfield. Why is he running that way? Get go. The block. Go. Cut he it up. Cut it up. Cut it up. There we go, coach. There we go. He knows more than we do. Out to the 44-yard line with a minute two left to go. Well, in theory, when you cross, when you cross the field like that, it's tough to keep your lanes, yep. as you're told, as a coverage defender. Yep. And the minute you close in, 
on your lane. Next thing you know, the guy's coming back yep. where you were. So good aggressive play by the uh, the sophomore. Dunro in the game. All right, Tiger Country, here we go. Minute two, down five. Ball at the 43-yard line of the Tigers. Casey and shotgun. Dropping back the pass, we have a flag on the play. Casey rolling out, throws it, complete. Oh. They're really incomplete. Mm. See what the flag's all about. I'm thinking maybe 12 men on the field, coach. On the defense? Yep. Yeah, it did come out pretty fast. They come up from the back, Judge. They're counting the uh, OA players. Inadvertent. No yep. flag. Coach Twitch asking why they threw the flag in the first place and Well they were counting the OA players after the play, so maybe the late substitution kind of threw him off guard but I don't see how you figure that uh, forget that you got five guys up front yep. three guys in the backfield two receivers three receivers pass is incomplete so we got second down Four seconds left to go. We need to get this play off. Back judges hold his arm up, which means there's 10 seconds under left. Delay a game is the call. Last couple of plays have been full of confusion here, and uh, too much talking to the refs. Talking to the refs, they ran the clock. Got to get our plays in. So it's second down and 15 now for the Tigers. Just gives us more room for Chad to run. Coach using another yeah. timeout. The one time they get pressure on. Bring up a third down in 25 or so. So 47 seconds left to go, coach. I'm not concerned about the time. I'm more concerned about the third and 25 roughly 26 26 got to get a big chunk of it back here to have a decent fourth down opportunity yep I don't want to run the ball with Chad here honestly you get two timeouts left I know you want to save him but well you 
You got to get the first down first. If you spread the field out, maybe give it to them. I mean, they're going to be mostly in a prevent defense, I don't assume. Casey to Whiteside. Oh. Mm. I wish he kind of yep. ran through that. Yep. Instead of stopping a jump. It might have, you know, from our angle, we don't know if it yeah. was a little bit behind him, but or over, over his back shoulder. Well, here we go, Coach. Fourth down and 26. You get that play in our book? Uh, yeah, I had it. Back in the 80s at Tech Mobile. <laughs> <laughs> Just hit Jerry Rice up the seam. Yep. Nobody could stop him. Well, Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give it to Bo. Here we go. This is the game. This is it, Coach. There's nobody really deep for uh, Quincy, which no, is. No, I figured it'd be in a t some type of prevent. The ball is thrown up to Farini. He's got a step on him. Oh. The ball hung up and is intercepted by number 11. Corey Chaprone. Well, the ball had air under it. Yep. It was one of those 50-50 balls, but there was a two-on-one, so I don't know. That changes your odds to about 66-33, I believe. Well, this will be a tough one. 27-22, one kneel down to go. Well, Coach, that will take us to one and one on the season. And we are home next week again against Dighton Rehoboth. Yeah, this one's going to sting. Yeah. Um, a lot of disappointed faces on the sideline of the Tigers, coaches included. Yep. Um, you know, nobody takes these losses worse than the, than the head coach. No. Uh, the players will... Go to the locker room and yep. get some pizza or some fast food. And yep. This will be a tough one. And, you know, you don't like seeing what the kids are doing right now from Quincy on the field. Um, you know, dancing on your home field, on your, on your insignia, your OA Tiger logo. But, well, Coach, tough one. We'll be back next week, same time, same place. Yes, sir. Thank you all who tuned in. Uncle Danny down in Florida. Tom Ovesti and Quincy, who's <laughs> working. But thank you, and have a good night. Good night. Oliver Ames High School Sports home game coverage is underwritten in part by Bank of Easton, Premier Properties, Law Office of Sutton & Sutton, Eastern Historical Society and Museum. Oliver Ames Football is also underwritten by Easton Country Club. ECAT would like to thank all sponsors for making coverage of all this year's home games possible.